Peter Quill, if he was with the Guardians of the Galaxy, the, the dinosaurs would die in like three seconds. Action! Five on the set. Starler would handle being chased by dinosaurs really well. He's been chased his entire life. He's got the tools necessary. I mean, it depends on what he's equipped with because he doesn't necessarily have any superpowers, but he's got amazing gadgets and a team. You know, Rocket would develop, devise a bomb and, you know, Drax would probably fist fight the T-Rex and, you know, Gamora and I would be dancing the whole time or something. But um, I, think he, I think they'd be fine. I think he'd be fine. Andy? Yeah, he'd get eaten, eaten immediately. Andy would get eaten even if the dinosaur wasn't hungry. Like, he would, he would like, climb into its mouth and, and force it to chew him. And he'd be tasty, too, because he was a little, a little more marbly. So I think the dinosaur would find a nice snack in Andy Dwyer. Bright from Everwood? I like to think that Bright from Everwood grew up to be Andy. So I think he would probably get smoked as well. Emmett might fare well. He's very tiny. His defense might be that the dinosaur would step on him in the middle of the night and scream and run, uh, run, run for its life. Oh my gosh, Jay from the OC. Ugh, he'd have to get eaten. We'd have to eat him right away. Ti by the end of the title sequence, Che gets eaten. <laughs> oh, me? How would I handle being chased by dinosaurs? It depends. Do I have my entire team of babysitters around me? Oh, then I'd be fine. But if I was alone, I'd die on an island whether there were dinosaurs or not. I'd probably die in my apartment whether there was dinosaurs or not. And I wouldn't even know where I was. I'd be like, Allison, where's my phone? And then, and then a pterodactyl would come and mercifully rip my head off and my whole team would be like, finally, someone killed that idiot. 